Welcome back to Model Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rache. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. Ignore my dog. If you heard that bark, he's upset I lock him out, but he'll be okay. <laughs> So today I went to my unique in Union City, New Jersey. I felt like I went there not like forever ago and I was getting FOMO. So I wanted to go through and see what they had. So I'm just going to go into the come fit with me and then I'll come back here and show you what I got. So no surprise, I'm starting in vintage. They made changes to the vintage section again, but I found it. <laughs> they started out with sets over here. Um, I love me a skirt set, but um, not this color. I love this cute little Alfred Dunner set. This is like a knitted um, sweater set with the pants. Very fun. I'm not sure if I'd wear head to toe purple, but cute. But yeah. Oh, I love the floral on this. I don't know. I'd probably prefer this as a cushion. <laughs> but I really like the... Um, What's going on with this? Oh no, there's a huge stain here. But I love the pattern. <laughs> Fun little tribal print. This is very heavy. I have quite a few sets. I love this. So um, I can tell it's like probably sleepwear, blue velvet, and some more good old 90s prints right here. Another little skirt set. Really fun. Would I wear a Momo? That's what I don't know. I love the navy, the blue color. This is by Lux Noir. Um, but yeah, very relaxed. It's more like beachwear, I think. Maybe. I love this black and white multi print. It is a size 24, so I'm not sure that even if I belted it, if it would work. Um, oh, it's actually a short. It's a romper. Yeah, it probably definitely would not <laughs> work. Um, yeah, I'm trying to... I love this black and white print, though. I love the print on this. It's like a green on green. Um, it's a straight. This is also... Am I in the plus size section? No, this is a size 10. Uh, I love this straight um, shift dress. <laughs> uh, the scoop neck is a bit wide for me, but I do love this green on green print. It is by Sherry Martin, and it is a size 10. Um, yeah, if there's a halter neck, I could probably belt it and get away with it, but um, for this neck, it's gonna definitely be too big. So there's this dress by Motherhood, which means it's probably a pregnancy type dress with the ampere waist coming up like this, but I do love the Peter Pan color. I do love the print. And it's very nice and lightweight. It is a small, so I think... <laughs> yeah, too! <laughs> But yeah, I do love these Peter Pan collars, and I think, you know, even if I belted it, it wouldn't show the waist so much. Or is this looking too little girl now? <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. This is another fun little one. This is by ne Rena Rowan for Seville Petite. It's a size 4. It's my exact size. Rayon, so it's nice and comfortable. And um, I, it has like this little pleat here, which is going to make it flow out really nice and um, flowy. It is black though. I'm not sure if I want to do black. It has these little flowers here. Very cute, um, but I'm not so sure. I love me a light colored gingham. I'm not always into gingham, but this, um, another like shirt, sleeveless shirt dress, I think is really cute. This is an extra large, again, based on how here is. I don't think I'd be able to get away with just belting it and winging it. Um, but yeah, some fun vintage pieces today. I'm not getting any blazers, but I thought I'd show you this fun vintage blazer. It's like a brown with a black collar accent here. I love the buttons as well. These are really fun and it has this little a loop of gold. Just a very funky one. It's a size 18 um, woman. So probably couldn't swing it, but I just thought it was very fun. I love the structure in the shoulders as well. Cute, cute, cute. Here's more of that really heavy weight. Forgot what you call it. Um, but yeah, they have more of this here. 
as well. It's a very fun print. A very fun print. Another one that I'm like, oh, should it be upholstery? <laughs> it's a bit weighty for clothes, but yeah, very fun. This is a very cute um, Asian inspired little jacket. Uh, it's a size 12 and I choose my yellows very carefully. <laughs> I'll at least try to see what it looks like. This is a fun bomber. I didn't even think it was going to be vintage because the print looks so today. But it's by Bold Spirits Petite. And um, yeah, it's, I think it's also dead stock. Because it has a little label here. It says it was sold at Sears for $39.99. It's probably like, you know, early 90s. Wow. I'm not so sure. I'll try it. I'm just gonna quickly run through tops. These are some more blazers. So I don't tend to have a lot of luck in dresses, but I saw this um, print. I love the little feminine details here. I love a feminine dress um, to throw on and go. Yeah, it has these little frills here. It's by Who What Wear, but it's an extra small, so I'm not sure if it hang the way I'd like it to. Um, a drawstring here, it has pockets. Um, okay, so it's lined halfway. The top isn't lined, but the skirt is lined halfway. Um, but yeah, not a bad print. So let's see what else is in dresses.
I did a quick run through of the skirt section. It's a good long section. These are the ones that kind of drew me. Um, there's this blue one. I'm not so sure. It's like a patchwork type thing. <laughs> I like the flow of it, but probably not. Um, this again, I loved. Um, I'm not sure about the deeper colors. It's the only thing. It feels a little lighter, maybe. I then saw this one. This is a nice, fun, brighter color for summer, but it's by Free People, originally 78 new with tag, and they are asking $40 for this, so I'm gonna have to, well, $35, so I have to pass. Um, I found this other little one, which I'm liking. I'm liking the all the embroidered work on this, and it's a size medium. It's by Sue, I'm not sure who that is but I like it and then there's this other one I like the little high low on the hem this is by um, LIRX I'm not sure what that is but yeah this again you know I'm, I'm afraid of white <laughs> and the two that I'm leaning towards are the two lighter colored ones um, this is really nice and feminine so I don't know we'll see So for today's haul, I spent just over $45. I, it didn't go as I thought it would. I didn't get much really. And to, um, to make myself feel better, I went into the homeware section <laughs> to pick up a lot of homeware pieces there. I only got like a couple pieces, but I'll style them up for you nice. And you know, you'll still get a fashion show, I promise. Um, but yeah, I saw a lot of great vintage pieces and um, unfortunately um, they couldn't fit unfortunately for me and fortunately for everyone else who they can fit that black and white jumpsuit I try I literally tried it on over what I was wearing I I wanted to make it work <laughs> but in the end I had to leave it but yeah a lot of them just didn't work at all for me so um, I did have some fun in the homeware section. I don't usually show any homeware or much homeware, um, but that's where I ended up, you know, when I realized I didn't end up buying much. So I'll show you those quickly. Um, so the first thing I got was this little um, mid-century modern Hollywood Regency S type, um, what do you call this? Candelabra, not a candelabra. What do you call it? Candle holder. It is a mounted one, so this will be great on the wall. Um, so yeah, I'm looking for more brass pieces for my home. So I thought this was a nice, fun one. So that's the first thing that I got. Next up, I saw this little um, ceramic. It looks like wood, but it's actually ceramic. And I thought, you know, another little MCM. I love these sleek lines on something like this. It is signed Loha. 1968 so a good little vintage piece i do love a little vintage piece so that's the next thing that i got this will work well with the stuff that i already have so i have that next up i did just grab this little throw pillar i loved the green and pink um you know <laughs> i love mixing things up a little bit and um this is only a dollar 69 so i thought you know 
mix it up with the other things that I have, this would have been a great one. So I picked up <laughs> a pillow. <laughs> As you can see, I'm really, you know, was trying to um, perk myself up when I found, when I went into the home goods section. <laughs> the next thing I found were these little um, ring holders. I thought this was very cute. It's like a wooden ring that was like hand painted and I love the colors on it. So I decided to grab it. It's four in a pack and these were $3.49. Um, there were quite a few discounts oh no i think yellow was half off so i have a few yellow tags which is interesting for my uni because typically they have like three tags and i probably have one thing that's <laughs> that's on discount so to have a lot of things that are on discount i you know i was happy to get the discounts on that so that's it for the home wary things what i have gotten a lot of is um these vintage um what do you call these uh what do you call these oh my god these vintage <laughs> what are these things called patterns oh my god these vintage patterns now uh, some of you will know that i did a sewing course um and since then i now that i know how to use and read patterns i've been looking out for vintage patterns so this one just had like this little plaid thing on top but I bought it because they were like um, several in a pack. So in addition to um, just this little magazine, they had like hot pants and these are like two types of blouses. And I really liked that. And then the Pierce de Resistance is this. So it's a very like, so it's like a wrap blouse and like wide leg pants. And that's exactly what I'm looking for with the vintage because a lot of the um a lot of the patterns would have like wide leg or flares and that's really why i um really love this so this simple wrap wrap top and wide leg pants i'm looking forward to this kind of looks like it's a like satin type material so it would be fun to play around with i'm saying this like i have a lot of leisure time to do all kinds of sewing but <laughs> you know they won't go out of date and they won't spoil. So I figured I'd get it. And all of these were $169, but as it's yellow tag, I think I got them for a dollar or if, yeah, I think half off was also on, on these things. So half of $169, I can't do math right now. <laughs> but I got a few of these. Um, I'll go through them quickly. So this had like this little penguin suit on the front, which I'm like, I'm not making costumes, but why I grabbed it, was on the back side of it, I saw this. And this is a Vogue pattern, and this is for the skirt. And I do love how the skirt um, was laid out. It looks like it has a nice flow to it. So there is that, there's this little dress, and then there's another like wrap top, and this is for knits. So, you know, a lot of times I have to source the, if I'm sourcing anything or I'm seeing it online, you know, you're paying shipping, and usually it's like, ten dollars per um per pattern so finding that they put like three in each and i got each for less than a dollar so this is just like a vest and skirt set this is a pants and jacket set which i thought was also fun and then this one um you can either do a top or you can make it into a dress and i do love the feminine details to this so that's the next packet that i got i got a few of these i'll go quickly next was this packet so at the front it just had some ties um you can make ties or bow ties i'm not i'm not gonna make ties so some of these i'll probably redonate or something um then you had this one with like a skirt just an a-line type skirt and then with this one you have a shirt, a pants, a skirt, and a shorts in this pattern. And the good thing is they're all my size. And they're either Butterick, McCall's, Simplicity, or that Vogue pattern that I got. I just have one more. So yeah, I got five packs of these things. This is the last one. And um, again, this was like with an apron on the front. But on the back, I saw this dress in the, in the bag. So absolutely i love this you can either make it short or long but i really love the details on top this is what the aprons looked like looks like so i can make aprons as well if i want to and then you have this little ampere waist 
dress again with um, some puff sleeves that I can either make short or long. So I think, you know, really fun, fun patterns. I'm going to play around with them. They're all my size. Um, it's vintage 12, but of course, um, bust 34. So yeah, so they're all, although it's vintage 12, it's my size because the bust on this is 34. So that was such a fun find. Now, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm feeling like a bit of a um, let down with the pieces that I, because I only got three pieces, but <laughs> fun pieces nonetheless. The first thing that I got was this skirt. Um, it's just like in a t-shirt material, so it's nice and light. I loved the tears on it. It's not my exact size. It is a size large it's actually extra large but this because it's a soft material if i just need to take the sides in and it's perfect because it's one of those things that are supposed to stretch um, but i don't need it to stretch so this i thought and it's a maxi i think this will be a fun one for summer so that's the first thing that i got <laughs> so turns out this is actually a dress well i'll be wearing it as a dress it's long enough it doesn't have to be someone very tall i mean I'm 5'4", so, you know, it could very well be a maxi skirt and someone else. <laughs> but this is how I style it. I did have to pin the back, but I think perfectly, perfectly um, suited for summer, even though it's gray. Um, I just love these little tears on it, these little um, short tears that goes all the way down. It's so fun and feminine. I've grabbed a little raffia... Um, bag because you know like i said i still because i think definitely it's still very summery even though it's gray so i absolutely love this but even with just a little straw bag i definitely think it is summer worthy so i am absolutely loving that this turned out to be a dress because you know now i found a dress a skirt and a pants <laughs> So I get, got a little more variety than I thought I did. So this is the first thing. I've just paired it with this little um, Stuart Wiseman little kitten heel. And yeah, I think this is perfect. I can also put straps on it. I found this little black ribbon. So if I wanted to, I could put um, the little straps. I could probably make it tie here. I'm not sure if I want it this thin, but I found this in my little sewing basket goodies thing so i do have this that i could use or you know i could go and try and match um this color in a fabric store and just get like a half a yard of um this because it's like t-shirt material jersey material and then i can create the straps from this for this um but yeah such a fun um find that <laughs> It's actually a dress. It's so comfy on. Is it a skirt a dress? I think it's a dress. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section if you think this was a skirt. Because this air can literally be just for like um, your little hips section and it's long. But it would be for, you know, someone very tall. So I'm thinking. <laughs> It's a dress, but well, let me know in the comments what you think if you've seen this um, before and if it's been a skirt to you. So yeah, this is <laughs> a fabulous, fabulous little find, but yeah. Next up, I saw this little tribal print pants and I thought this again with like a white shirt or some kind of button down would be really fun for summer. Um, even with a denim shirt, I think would be nice and um, fun for summer. So I grabbed this as well. Um, I'm not sure where this is from. This is from uh, Bebop. So yeah, just a fun, fun print. And I thought this was a good summer vibe. Even if I wanted to wear this to the beach or something like that, this would be really good. So that's the next thing that I got. Oh, the skirt was from, this is actually from Philosophy. So yeah, Fun, fun, fun little skirt. Next up, I found me some fun pants and I've kept on the Stuart Wiseman. It's like a little multicolor kitten heel, so it goes with a lot of stuff for the summer. And the beauty with these pants that I love is I can just keep picking out colors out of this, but it feels very comfy on. Um, it just sits very nicely at the waist right here. This little, str um, 
tie string is just fashion. It's not functional at all. So I can literally snip this off if I want to. But for now, I've just, you know, loosely put a shirt on over it. I can do any sorts of little tucks with it just to make it a little more playful. Um, but yeah, so I really, really love this little pants but like i said because of the color of it i can literally just pull colors out of this color scheme and almost even if the color isn't in there i think any color <laughs> like button down is just a go and i think this is for like for a fun um summer day low effort this little pants i could wear it every week with a different shirt <laughs> for the rest of summer and it will look like a completely different outfit so this is the next thing that i got i absolutely love this i'm going and no i'm gonna be living in this and even though it's so colorful i'll keep the keeping the color down here it doesn't feel so loud um with just a neutral top and yeah i think yeah this is gonna be a favorite for summer. So <laughs> looking forward to wearing these. The final thing that I got, I ended up going with the white skirt. Um, I think this is going to be such a flattering piece on me. This is by um, SU. Yeah, so that's what this looks like. I'm very devastated that none of the vintage worked on me. That's, <laughs> I think that is a, the biggest crush to my spirit that none of those vintage pieces worked for me, which I think is a first that I am here with no vintage, except for, you know, God bless my little MCM um, Homer pieces. But yeah, that's just how it is with the thrift stores. And um, <laughs> I probably have to find somewhere else and, um, thrift maybe you know hair is getting a little saturated so i need to go back to my um search for new thrift stores um speaking of which i did meet someone today hi marie if you are watching it was so fun to see you i'm i do enjoy <laughs> seeing people out now um so yeah it is that was so fun to see i'm there like with my trying to be discreet <laughs> And then I saw, and then I, I saw her um, walking by. So that is the last thing that I got and I am absolutely going to enjoy it. And I'd rather be picky and get the stuff that I really like. Um, and then I know I'll wear it, then just pick stuff up. Um, but yeah, there are many more thrift hauls to come. So let's see what this little skirt looks like. And um, yeah, I think this is a fun one. And finally, it's this cute awesome little skirt i absolutely love it i love the silhouette of it i love this little tail thing, making it nice and fun and feminine switched out the store white for this little black strappy um heels just a little bottega dupes um black puff sleeve top and i absolutely love this um for the bags you know sometimes with the crossbody i just like to grab the tops like this it's giving top handle vibes without it interrupting with the look <laughs> so that's why i grabbed this but um yeah all the space was still for like you know like with a top handle so but absolutely love 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 the silhouette of this for this i get it you know pockets would interrupt the shape of this so if it has no pockets i'm fine <laughs> this time it is a little it is lined but it's still a little sheer so i would definitely have to be careful um underwear i'm wearing a dark underwear today so i think it's it, i think it's working out <laughs> but this is what this looks like and i absolutely love this so guys that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look is your favorite what piece is your favorite as well don't forget to subscribe i'd love for you to join the family and if you did like this video please give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next one